Mary Mead and welcome. Welcome to the realms of mysticism, the occult, and magic, where your possibilities are only limited by your imagination. Welcome to the Witch's Cauldron and discover the knowledge you seek. Gather round the cauldron and even stay for a spell. Brightest blessings to you. Welcome to the Witch's Cauldron. My name's Paula and I've got a very special guest with me today. I have Mandy from Spellfire Gifts. Now, off the bat, I've got to do my legal disclosure as a YouTube creator. There have been no merchandise or monies exchanged between me and Mandy. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not an affiliate of Mandy's. There's nothing going on behind the scenes. I followed Mandy for a long time on Twitter. I love her work and I wanted to bring her work to you guys here. So Mandy from Spellfire Gifts, welcome to the Witch's Cauldron. Hi. Hello. Thank Hello. you for having me. I am so glad to have you on here. Like I said, I've been following you for a long time on Twitter. I have purchased from you several times. You didn't even know who I was. I didn't. I didn't. had no clue who I was. And, you know, I just really respect people with your kind of hustle. And I love the things that you sell. So how about telling me, uh, telling me and my subscribers a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Spellfire Gifts? Sure. So um, I was a retail director for 25 years. So before I started SpellfireGifts.com, I had been in retail uh, with 377 locations. So one day I just decided that I was going to turn what I loved into my business instead and leave the corporate world and start spellfiregifts.com. But luckily for me, with that came a lot of drive. So um, we're kind of known for being a really fast turnaround. I ship every single day. Um, so even though we're artists, we try to make sure that the business end of it is that, you know, when somebody orders, they get their stuff very, very quickly. We have a good mixture of handmade items, either by me or Hum DM, if you follow him. That's my mm -hmm. husband, also a pagan. Um, and then, you know, we try to feature other artists that are trying to make their way or, or having a hard time getting their business started. And that's one of the things that I really love about Spellfire Gifts, because I have been able to find other artisans yeah. through you. And you are best known for your cloaks. Yes, I sew a lot. <laughs> you do. And you come up with some of the most beautiful fabrics and combinations of trims. And how do you, how do you get your inspiration? Is it the fabric that drives it or... A lot of the time it is. So there's times that we know that we might have, um, we might find a sale piece and we can offer that cloak a little less, but there's a lot of times that, you know, we, we choose no matter how expensive it is based on the way that it looks, obviously. And we want it to be a, it has to be a quality fabric. It has to be something that you can traipse around in the woods in and, and not feel like you're going to rip it. So we don't ever want to produce you know, a costume grade piece, everything we have is theater or movie quality. Um, any, anything you buy from us is going to be, you know, really sturdy. So the cloaks are fun. If somebody had told me I was going to make my living sewing cloaks, I would have laughed because I, I also make very elaborate gowns and costuming. Um, but cloaks is something that, you know, a lot of people can save up for and they love it. And nobody's really turning out a cloak that's super high quality and unique out there. And no, they don't. And I have, I used to do reenactments about 20 years ago, and it was so hard to find people who did quality, like you say, movie or theater quality or historically correct using historically correct you know, fabrics and trims and things like that. And I noticed that you take a lot of care in putting the trims 
together in producing them. The cloaks are lined beautifully. What other handcrafted items by you are available on Spellfire Kifts? Quite a bit. Gifts. If you go to the costumes and sewing tab um, in spellfiregifts.com, you'll see a list of things. So the Mad Hattery, while we don't sew the hats, we embellish all of them. Um, you'll find tarot and altar cloths. If you're looking for something fun to put all of your goodies on, you cannot yep. miss that section. Uh, right. I make a tarot bags, uh, all kinds of things. And then on occasion, you will find some pretty wild costume pieces on there, Rococo coats or Baroque coats, things like that. So aprons, like witchy aprons, you know, that come with the crystals and really cute spoons with pentacles, all kinds of stuff. So almost everything under that tab is made by me personally. And one thing that I noticed that you offered very early when you really hit my radar was at the beginning of the pandemic and you started making masks. Yeah. People oh, wow. could not find a mask to save their soul. And you were doing a great service to everybody. So yeah. thank you very much because you did not price gouge on the masks. No. You didn't ask exorbitant prices on them. And you found some of the cutie, cutest, witchiest, spooky, you know, little masks to express yourself through. So that's what really like got me on to your raid on your, you got you on my radar. And then I discovered the cloaks. And of course you have Stevie shawls. Yeah. Oh gosh. The shawls oh. that love those Are shawls. The best. <laughs> and so, but you also feature other artisans. Yes. Oh, I've got one right here. This is by Mama Tazi. She does beautiful work. And sometimes, you know, a, a great account might only have 300 followers and they're not getting the exposure that we're getting. So, you know, if somebody has something that they're able to price out at a wholesale, I'm very clear about that. You know, I always want to be very upfront that we want you to make your money, but we still have to make margin. And there's a lot of artists out there that can hit that wholesale margin. And if we can help get their name out there, I, I'd say we only get about a year with an artisan before they get enough exposure. They don't need us anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but and that's, you know, okay. that's, that's great. Cool. That's yeah. great though, because, you know, anytime a pagan or a heathen can promote another pagan Absolutely. or heathen owned business, and the more we come together and network to help each other out, the better we all are. And you also carry a large line of crystals and gemstones and things like that. What other kind of witchy or, you know, heathen kind of items do you have oh on Spellfire Gifts? Everything. So as I mentioned before, my husband's also a pagan. So um, a lot of our athames and swords and daggers are all hand forged right here on the property. So he does an absolutely beautiful job on those pieces. Um, yeah. You can find everything from weaved bridged crosses to, um, gosh, oddities. We find a lot of oddities. We live in a very wooded area. So we try to really use what we have. We have six gardens. So a lot of times when you buy herbs for your pet or for your cauldrons and things, those come straight out of one of our six gardens on the property. So we have literally just about anything that you, you need for your practice. And I am all for, you know, the wild crafting, you know, finding, foraging, whatever, because that's what witchcraft and witchery is at its heart. I think and so too. And a lot of times you can come on and find recipes, even in our blog for canned recipes or pickling recipes, even wine recipes. We have just a little bit of everything on there. And I also noticed, I went on your website last night again, and you now have like a section for in bulk items that are yes. like right around the, right around the corner. Do you do that for each of the Sabbats on your website? Yes, because when people always ask me, you know, how long have you been practicing? I've got 35 plus years uh, in the practice, and that's really where I specialize is the wheel of the year. So if you're looking for the sabbats or things to celebrate those, you can even find digital lessons. So anybody all over the world 
can go on there and our lessons, we try to keep them cheap. They're t- 10 bucks. You can't beat that. So, and it'll come with pages of lore, recipes, altar setups. If you're having a hard time, like, I don't know what to say at my ritual. There's, there's a guideline. You can fill in your blanks and, and make it your own. So we really try to make sure that, you know, if you're interested or you're curious, we want to help lay out, these are the steps that you can follow, but we really want people to be able to make the practice, whatever they want it to be. Right. And so for, I have a lot of, you know, newer folks to the craft, yeah, um, baby witches as they That's call right. themselves yeah. now. Yeah. And, you know, it's really, I find it very important that, you know, the baby witches kind of are able to find folks that are a little bit more experienced to guide them rather than being the flash Instagram or Insta witches or Pinter witches or whatever you want to call them. Because quite honestly, babies, you're not going to learn anything in 60 seconds. Um, And so that's why I really respect folks like you that have the blogs that really are targeted at trying to set the newbies on the right, show them the right steps rather than the quick way of getting there. Yeah. And I I think, you know, when these, you know, in the nineties, we saw a little bit of this too, where the occult became very fashionable. And I feel like we're in another cycle of that. And I try to even remind us old birds, us crones that, you know, this is a great time because a a lot of people come into it because it's trendy, but there's a lot of those witches that will stay. So, you know, during these times where people are very interested, I think we have a duty to try and teach as much as we can so that, you know, at some point that person might continue on, you know, they, they stay long after the trend has gone. Yeah. And that was one reason that I started the witch's cauldron is that, you know, paranormal stuff was really, you know, coming, kind of petering out a little bit, but the interest in the occult and the practice of witchcraft and Wicca, um, which is where I practice, that's where my feet go down the path is through Wicca. Um, But they were getting a lot of bad information and I'm like, okay, you're a trained high priestess, you have a duty to yeah, teach you gotta step in and, and pass and it along that. and try and put the, the good core information out there for those who are really here for the long haul to learn the correct way. So bravo. I love creators and practitioners like you. And, you know, we've gone through a few other little things. Do you have like a, um, like a subscription email that people yeah, anybody can press up and sales and because I know yeah. I found you through uh I think it was like a, a what do you call it a hunt for oh. clues around your website oh, yes. I think that yes. was one of the ones you did yes we we yes. Get every year yes yep I think the first time I ever ordered from you was a couple of years ago during your trick-or-treat event where you find clues to the little special sale items yes. all through the site and that was such a fun thing to do so um, to subscribe to your email list, do people just go to the website? Yeah, you just, you can go and become a site member. I do like to be very honest. We don't send out like a weekly email. I bet we send out an email maybe once a month if you're lucky, because um, yeah. we don't want to bombard people. Um, but you can sign up and then you can earn badges for certain things. Um, once you become a VIP member, you can request product before it ever hits the website. You can special order things that have been sold out, which is really nice. And then, you know, as long as the vendors still have it or the artist still has it, we, we try to make sure our VIPs get anything that they need. So, and it doesn't take much to get there. It's a spending threshold, but it's really low. So, um, but we try to make sure that, you know, we really take care of those repeat customers. And I know there's a lot of people online that are a little slow to ship. So again, guys, I always say I'm as fast as that billionaire site. So come see me first and support a yeah. small business. Instead. I know that whenever I have ordered from you, um, and I live in Virginia on the East coast of the U S I have gotten stuff within two days. Yeah. You know, we should, unless I did we, something like order it on a Sunday and it might've come in on right. Wednesday because it went to the post office on Monday, right, you know, right. so you have really fast shipping. Okay. And for the last big question, 
Do you yeah. have other handles other than on Twitter? Guys, I'm going to put all of her I socials do. down do. In, the, so, in the description box and I'm going to pin a comment. So what are all your socials? Perfect. You can find me on Instagram, same at Spellfire. Um, you can find me on Facebook at Spellfire. Uh, I just like to tell people, though, if you really want to interact, Twitter is the place to do it. That's where I spend the bulk of my time. Um, I wasn't going to tell anybody, but we are launching TikTok this week. Um, we've kind oh, of been off the track. So, um, there'll be a video coming out. We're going to start with a cloak cause that's what we do best. So, uh, there'll be a video launching on TikTok this week. In fact, I was just running from my sewing machine to, to catch our message today. Um, so there's one coming this evening. That's awesome. Mandy, thank you so thank much you for having me. I so appreciate it. I so appreciate what you are doing in the community and the services that you are providing. And guys, I will tell you, I have one of the Stevie um, shawls. You do? I love it. And that. she is worth every bitch and penny that I paid for it and then some. Oh, thank you so beautiful. much. It was one of the burnout ones. And she's gorgeous. And I got my eye on the, what is it? The show, the like show stage glam. Yes, they are one. It's waiting. Got, it needs a home. <laughs> got my eye on her. Got my eye just waiting for the check to come in on the 30th and she'll be mine. Okay. Thank you so much. And guys, as I always say, Mary, we did meet. Mary, we will part until we Mary meet again. Be well and walk in love and light, everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody.